be more affordable housing throughout East Baton Rouge Parish. Our Elizabeth Bourgeois is here to tell us more about a plan that officials say could, could lead to safer housing for folks who really need it. Lizzie. Tonight at the Metro Council, leaders are introducing six new affordable housing projects across the parish. If approved, this could be a multi-million dollar investment. National data shows that zip codes are one of the biggest determining factors in a young person's life as to whether or not they're going to be successful, uh, be able to provide for their family one day, reach their educational goals or whether or not they, they might be kind of stuck in cycles of poverty. Metro Council members will soon consider an investment of $8 million for affordable housing. It was proposed by the Office of Community Development. The Director of Community Development, Marley Miller, says this is no small feat. Those projects range from everywhere from Zachary to, to downtown East and Old South Baton Rouge, Mid-City and North Baton Rouge. So we're really excited about the diversity of projects as well as the diversity of communities that are going to be served by them. The project consists of both affordable housing and mixed-use buildings. One of those will be the old Hotel Lincoln. That's going to not just have affordable housing in it, but also space for commercial activities, nonprofit activities. So that's a really exciting opportunity for our community. Louisiana Housing Corporation has their name on a few of the six projects. Lewis Russell with the LHC says the new housing will be safer as well as affordable. It's, it's a economic impact, but also, um, you know, just the impact of having families being able to have uh, safe, quality, uh, affordable housing uh, that has built in resiliency for the uh, storms and things that we face here oftentimes for those who are most vulnerable population. Russell also thinks these types of projects help surrounding communities as well. Uh, having such a development with that kind of economic impact, the cost of these uh, adds value to the community as well. If approved, Miller thinks these types of projects will help with much more than just housing. It's having residents that have agency and economic power and when they're not spending all of their money on housing costs they're able to invest in job training and skills growth. The council meeting for these projects will be on November 13th. Guys. Elizabeth thank you. So early voting is underway.